What's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Queso. Now, some folks call him Queso. Others call him Queso 23 times. I don't know why. But his rap name is synonymous with Jacksonville Hip Hop and Drill. Now, Queso has been, a, man, a controversial figure when it comes to Jacksonville rap because of the two cases that he has. Now, there's a lot going on as far as his cases that involves other rappers and other rappers' crews. And it's been, man, it's been a, a tough point for a lot of people to swallow. And it's been a lot of news that's made national headlines. You know what I mean? I'm talking about national news. Like, the first time that Queso and his father, Blue, got locked up, it was a national story. And the story read something like a rapper and his dad get, get locked up for the murder of another rapper. And since then, it's been an on and going story. Now, we've seen times where we thought Queso was going to get bond. But man, as soon as it looked like he was going to get bond for the first case, the second case came in and he got charged. Now, this time, Queso has taken to social media and his fans are happy because it looks like he might actually be coming home. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Queso just a little bit, right? Now, Queso, like I said earlier, has been a controversial figure in Jacksonville hip-hop. And he's got two murder cases on his head. I'm talking about two. Now, what's crazy about this whole situation is the more news about Queso's situation has came out, the bigger his star power has grown, man. He's probably the most known rapper out of ATK besides Young and Ace, man. Now, when Queso was on the street, he made some great collaborations with other artists. He did some big things. But lately, we've been just doing updates about his casework and what's going on with his case. Now, the last time or the last couple of updates we made was that Queso's bond had got denied. First, he had a million dollar bond then it got moved up to three million dollar bond. Then his bond was denied. Then he was hit with another murder case. Now, the other murder case that he was hit with is actually involving somebody from Fulio's camp. Now, I'm not going to go into the specifics because you know how to respect or whatnot, but most people in most circles know exactly what went down there or what's alleged to have went down, excuse me, because he's innocent until proven guilty. And it's a terrible situation to say the least because, you know, the, the person was rather young, man. And there's a lot of stories online and on the fan pages about his involvement and their involvement and a lot of street stuff and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's still a whole bunch of senseless gun violence. But Queso's name has been going up and going up. And man, as it's been going up, it's been more stuff that you heard about the, the case. You heard about his dad, Blue. Now, there was a rumor that Blue was out here, you know, telling or whatnot. And that people were, you know, running with that. But none of that was substantiated. It just looks like his dad in the first case is going to be tried or whatnot. And he was just bringing up his, his plea deal or, you know, whatever deal that he's working with the court. But Queso has actually been positive most of the time behind this case now the last time that he used his social media to reach out to the fans he said this this was about a month back and he said this he said even though i'm not free i'm still human and i still have rights these people in here have no remorse for human life they will do any and everything to break you down to your lowest it's unacceptable and i will not stop fighting until my heart stops you know, a whole bunch of exclamation points and, you know, operation, hashtag operation free SCO or free queso, excuse me. Now, it seemed like he was having a tough time in jail with that post because he followed it up with another post as well. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right. Now, around the time of this post was around the same time that the news about his music was going to be used in his trial had come out. So he was privy to that. His lawyer was privy to that and everything. And, you know, as far as the paperwork wise, it kind of hasn't moved much. It's just been a paperwork shuffle 
all around the court system to, you know, make sure that his lawyer has certain access and things like that. And that's what you're seeing pretty much online if you see if you see the court documents. Now, in this post, he said, using social media to hurt and destroy is callous, acted out by cowards hiding behind phones. My advice is to ignore negativity, focus on the positivity and love around me. Hashtag Operation Free Queso. Now, that ended pretty upbeat, man. It lets you know where his mind state is at. But just about a week ago, he dropped a brand new post and it said this. Now, this post was from about a week ago. And I'm going to improvise a little bit because he made some spelling errors here. But this is what he said. Now, during this time, there were some rumors that people were trying to pressure him in jail. And he had to squash that. So, Queso said this. I've been on 23-hour lockdown for eight months. Plus, I'm 6'3", 250-something pounds. You know, ain't nobody touch me. I'm chilling reading books. Waiting on my name to be called. Exclamation points. Now, he didn't put free skull under that one or, you know, or free queso, excuse me, under that one. But definitely trying to squash any rumors that anybody was applying any type of pressure in there. Now, today, something interesting happened on queso's social media page. He started to add back pictures. So you can see more than just a picture of his mugshot or whatnot, you know, that green picture that everybody's seen. And you can see more pictures on his page, right? And he made this post right here to his story. And he said this, he said, if I said I'm coming home, I'm coming home. And just left it at that. And this has a lot of fans thinking that Queso is about to come home either on bond or free. Now, in order for him to come home free, there would have to be some substantial changes in both of the cases that he's locked up for. Now, is that a possibility? Yes, it is, man. There's always a possibility for that because, like I said, everybody's innocent until proven guilty. So, it's a possibility that something fell through the cracks or some new evidence came out that frees him of both of those charges. That's a, always a possibility. Now, Queso seems upbeat, and it seems like he's just letting the fans know that he'll be back home soon. So we'll see where it goes from here, man. It, I mean, are the fans rushing to judgment? Maybe. Are the fans maybe reading too much into this? Maybe. But to get a positive post like that for somebody who's locked up and they're making changes to their page, like they're doing more promo or they're, they're trying to get back out here rapping, Man, that's a positive sign in the right direction if I was on anybody, any one of his fans and I was looking for Queso to come home anytime soon. You know what I mean? Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that Queso is letting the fans know that he said he was coming home and he's definitely coming home? Or do you believe that maybe he's just being optimistic and not to read too much into this post because it is just a post on social media? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.